In this video, I want to show you how to customize logo templates from Logo Design Master Collection in Adobe Illustrator. Logo Design Master Collection is a bundle of logo templates perfect for things like t-shirt graphics, hat graphics, embroideries, stickers, or anything else you need a logo style graphic for. Before opening any of the logo templates, the very first thing you'll need to do is install the fonts. If you're on a Mac or PC, there are instructions in the Quick Start Guide. For this video, I'll show you on a Mac. So let's look at the September 2018 logo templates. And these are the Paradise logo templates. And each folder for each month looks like this. So you'll have a reference JPEG of all the 25 logo templates that are in the collection for that month. And you'll also have a Google Fonts folder and you'll have the Illustrator templates and you'll have identical Photoshop templates. So if you're on a Mac, what you can do, I recommend that you use Fontbook, which is the built-in font management software on a Mac. All you need to do is just drag that Google Fonts folder for each month into Fontbook. And let's go into Adobe Bridge where we can preview all these logo templates. So what I'll do is I'm going to start with this logo template here, but I'm going to change it up and I'll add in the palm trees from this logo template and maybe the sun from this logo template and we'll use the font that's in this logo template. So let's go ahead and open up this first one here. So the main windows you want to have open are your character window, which is for your type and then your layers panel. And let's go back to bridge and open up this logo template for the palm trees. And then this logo template for the sun and this logo template to see what font that is. So this font is called rocket. And let me just grab this sun. You can either select the elements by clicking on them or in Illustrator, you can click on, in your layers panel, you can click on this button here and that'll select it. So let's go Command C and I'll just close that logo template. Let's go back here and I'll go Command V, just put it off to the side for now. And this one, we have the palm trees. So I'll just select both of those palm trees. Command C and then let's go to our palm trees that are in here. Let's get rid of those. Um, we can get rid of the sun that's in there. We can put in our new sun. And you can just assign that white. And then let me paste in those palm trees. And I'll sample that purple color. I think that's looking pretty good. Maybe we'll just move them a little closer together. So these templates are really good just because they're so versatile and they're so easy to edit. Uh, let's change this font. Um, actually, I wanna change it to say something else. So you're gonna to wanna to use your type tool and just highlight what's in there. And we'll change this to say Dana Point my town and then beach club. So each piece of text in the logo templates, you can just select and highlight using this type tool. So this could say California. And I said I wanted to use that rocket font. So let's just change it rocket and there's a whole bunch of different weights in here kind of like that extra light but i don't know black looks good too and so that's pretty much basic editing so you could go even further and if you know your way around illustrator let's say let's change this outer border now it's already converted to an outline so it's not a stroke anymore, but what we can do is let's double click on that a couple times 
and we can select this inner path and just delete it. Now, problem is here, it's on top of everything. Let's just drag it down to the very bottom so it's behind everything. Now, our type is invisible because it's the same color. So let's just change it to white. Um, that inner border, I'll select that, change it to white. And this is starting to look pretty good. I think the inner circle is a little too small and the outer kind of donut shape is a little too big. So what we can do is let's just go in here and select everything that's in the middle. And if you're having trouble selecting things, again, you can use these buttons in the layers panel. And so I've got everything. I've got all the bands, I've got the sun, I've got the two palm trees, and I've got this inner white border here selected. And I can just hold shift option and it'll scale up that inner circle right there. And now I wanna edit the type. So if your type is on a half circle arch as this is, the best way to scale it and to keep it in the right place, what you wanna do is hold down your shift key and just drag this center handle right here and just scale it up. And that'll keep it all centered. And that's starting to look pretty good. And I'll do the same thing with the bottom. You know, if you were to drag one of these corner handles, it's gonna make it off center. So you can hold shift and just drag that inner one like that. Let's say I wanna change the letter spacing. So if you have type that's extremely longer or shorter than what's in there, you may need to edit your tracking or change it to say like a more condensed, more kind of squashed font. But I think this is looking pretty good. But we can change our tracking. So let's try like 125. Just increase that letter spacing just a little bit. And I think that's looking really good. Maybe California could go a little bigger. And you see how it's getting pretty close to that border. So let's just hold the shift key and drag that center handle. And you know, you can go pretty crazy with the tracking. Let's go 400, really space that out. Maybe that's too big, but I think that's looking really good. Now, let me show you one more thing with these type arches. So in this logo template, you'll see how there's a type arch. Let's say we wanted to narrow that arch. So I'm holding down option here and I'm just gonna squash it. What that does is it actually squashes our type. So what you can do is if you wanna edit the logo templates like that, after you do it, change your horizontal scale back to 100. Your horizontal scale, which is right here, should always be at 100. If it's not, it means your type is squashed. Um, I'll give you another example of that. So if I do the same thing here, see how that type looks all squished? If I just go back to 100, it corrects all that. That's pretty much the basics of editing your logo templates in Illustrator. To find out more about Logo Design Master Collection, click the link on this page. Thanks for watching.